Hey guys, how are you? So I'm going to answer an email that was put to me and I think this is going to be something that uh, will speak to a lot of young nerdling devs who are just getting into the game. So I'm not going to say his name. I don't know if he wants his name out there, so I won't say it. Here's something that I feel like a huge dork asking because it's such a noob question, but as a junior dev, I'm learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and I've gotten familiar with my code, what it should look like. I try to keep it clean and organized. That's what you want to do. By the way, one of the things that separates the expert developers from the noobs or the badly trained developers is that the expert developers have very simple, easy to understand code. Not always possible to do, but the simpler, the better. Strive for simplicity, just like in martial arts, the best martial artists have very simple, concise, economical moves. That's the way you should write your code. He continues. But then I look at source code from local business sites and I check and I go, what? No. WTF is going on here? This is way more advanced than I've been learning. There are lots of links to different style sheets. What's going on? So he points to the site. I won't point to the site. And he continues. Is this the type of code that is normal when working at a dev job? It just looks like a huge mess of code. My code doesn't look as messy as, and as complicated as this website. I can't even tell what's going on. <laughs> it's uh, not uncommon. So let me address a few of these issues. Um, there are three reasons why you have big, messy client-side code, especially the CSS and the JavaScript. Why do you have that? Number one, number one reason rather, bad developers. Remember, the best developers have simple, easy to understand code because code has to be maintained. It has to be updated. So if you have super complex, hard to understand code, hard to edit code, that's bad code. I recently retired the Studio Web 3 framework, which had been in development for seven years because it got too messy. And the reason it got too messy because it's seven year old code base, because the nature of the use case for the project changed, and because I had several developers working on it over time, it's inevitable code gets messy. So if you're writing a version one of your site and your code's all messy and you got a, a heap of JavaScript coming down the pipe, you got all kinds of style sheets all over the place and it's a mess to understand, that's bad because somebody's going to have to go in there and edit things and change things and dig things up. It's, it's, it's just bad practice. Don't do it. So that's the number one reason you see that kind of code, bad developers. The second reason of, is you get overly complex frameworks and workflows. Modern day client side front end coding can get really stupid complex. And this is normal. I've seen it many times in my developer career going back over 20 years. Nerds tend to add more and more and more and more and more complexity to try to manage all these different situations that could come up. And you got to resist that, that, that desire for complexity. You got to strive for simplicity. So it's a normal flow of things. You see the community starts here and it gets complex, 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 complex. Then it gets so complex, everybody rebels and it drops, it gets simpler again. And you just don't want to go there. I've seen it in the Java world. I've seen it in other areas. For me, the big one is the Java world, but it's not just the Java world. Many different languages, many different uh, frameworks, uh, they can get crazy complex and you have to resist that, especially if your own projects Resist complexity because complexity just makes your life harder down the road. So the third reason you might see very complex code is because a lot of coders will make it complex on purpose because they're trying to hide the code. And they, they may compress it. They may do some crazy things with the variable namings just to keep it hidden. Obfuscation is the word. And so they do that for whatever reasons. And uh, there you go. So when you are learning to be a web developer and you right click and you view, view all this crazy code, these are the probable three reasons why the code is so messy. Learn from that lesson because if you write a website or a web app or any type of software, 
you have to expect that there's going to be a requirement in the future, could be in the medium future, short term future, long term future, that this code is going to have to be updated. And if you have stupid complex code, uh, you should be fired. Uh, it should be simple, easy to understand so that people can figure it out and make changes to it without having to spend six months trying to figure out what was going on. Back in the 90s, Perl was the engine, if you will, early 90s of the web. And Perl programmers used to joke that you could do something 10 different ways with Perl. And they thought that was kind of funny, but it turned out to be a real kludge and a mess because they would, you would look back at your own Perl code just a couple months later and you'd be wondering, what the heck was I trying to do here? It's not cool to write complex cryptic code that nobody can understand. Simple code is the best code. And when I look at code that I'm reviewing, I want to see simple honors to understand code. If I'm starting to see things that I'm like, what's going on here? That gets me a little vexed, especially uh, with my developers. Anyway, that's it. So I hope this helps. Bye-bye.